Now it's up for debate. I'm going to put on record my personal views around the prayer. And as a Christian, I'm very proud to be doing so. As we know, of course, participation in the Lord's Prayer at the beginning of any session of Parliament, any sitting day, is a voluntary thing, something I encourage others to do. But certainly, as I say, like with all commencement proceedings, it is voluntary. It's not compulsory. And recognising that we as humans can use all the help we can get uh, is, I would have thought, something that would receive broad support in the community. Uh, acknowledging that we don't have all the answers, that we don't get everything right, that we are, in fact, fallible is something I think that most people out there in the real world would agree with. And that's what this prayer that we say every day is all about. And it's important to acknowledge that the job we do here is so crucial. On behalf of Australians who elect us to come here and to represent them, we have to get the job right. So, to that end, asking God to help us can't be a bad thing, in my view. And I wouldn't have thought, even for atheists, would it be a bad thing. This country is changing, our community is changing, and our parliament is changing. More than half of us were born overseas or have a parent born overseas. A quarter of us have a non-European background. Only 44% now identify as Christian, and that number is falling. Other religions are growing, as is the number of Australians who don't have any religion, which is now almost 40%. This parliament is more diverse than ever. More First Nations people, more people of colour, more women. Australia is changing. If we are genuine about saying to the community that parliament is a place that welcomes people from every race, faith and culture, its systems and norms, which purport to represent the community, must change. How can we continue to open our daily business with the Lord's Prayer? Our parliament should be modern and secular. So let's stop pretending that we are a white Christian monocultural society. We are not. We never were. 